sometimes doors do not come close because it is an attack it comes close because it is a new realm welcome to dynamics of easy channel this is going to be a thoughtful revision on the podcast by a prostitution someone imagine stepping into september with the divine advantage where every crook path stretches and the doors long shot begin to fling wide open this month is not just another calendar date, it's a prophetic shift, a season God has ordained for his people to step into uncommon favor and undeniable breakthroughs. In this sacred moment, we engage heaven with fervent prayers, declaring that September will yield the fullness of God's promises. But the question is, are you ready to walk in the prophetic declaration over your life? Will you seize the moment of divine opportunity or will September pass you by like every other month? So make sure you watch this video. Thank you. Listen, please listen to me. Listen to me sometimes doors do not come close because it is an attack it comes close because it is a new realm when you buy new things they are sealed they are not sealed to hurt you they are sealed as a sign of authenticity that no one has gotten this there are if you buy a drink and it's open sometimes they tell you if this product has been tampered with return it back because it means it's not new there are certain closed doors now it's not an attack it's because no one in your family has entered before you are the first who will be opening that door who am i prophesying to in the name of jesus i decree and declare i call upon he who has the key of david the one who opens a door that no man can shut and shuts a door every door that has been closed over your career over your life over your destiny i declare a father be open 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 be open be open doors of strategic relationships be open doors of strategic finances be open the treasures of darkness the hidden riches of secret places be open doors of career be open doors of destiny help us be open in the name of jesus someone shout open shout open shout open shout open listen to me please don't be distracted something is happening in this place look at me every city you see has gates in the spirit and doors in the spirit just because you are there does not mean the gates are open now you see if you grew up in the north or you have had encounters with the north you will know that when you are entering most of the northern states you will see like city gates am i right on that sometimes there are no doors until you pass that most of the people believe that you have not entered that city you will see maybe welcome to kano or welcome to whatever those gates it was an ancient principle there are many people who are in abuja here but in the spirit you are not yet in abuja so you cannot eat of that which belongs to those who are here are you ready for gates to open and doors to open Listen, I have seen territories where the inhabitants never eat of the blessings of the land. It is only strangers that eat of it. I have seen families where the children never eat of the blessings of the land. It is strangers that eat of it. We are going to pray that prayer. There's an anointing on these open doors. Open. God has opened some doors in my life as a person and as a man of God and I know the benefit. Ten years can be compressed in one month under an open door. I am telling you. Are you ready to pray? Say Father. Shout it. Say Father. In the name of Jesus. Strategic doors in this season that I must enter. I declare them open now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I declare them open. Everyone pray. Be serious. Online pray. U.S. pray. Canada pray. 
Kenya pray, South Africa pray, Ghana pray, Lagos pray. Every door, strategic doors, relational doors, financial doors, spiritual doors. Take a minute to pray. All doors open in this season. All doors open in this season. Open of your own accord. Open unto me. Open for a new season. Open for greater influence. Open for greater kingdom impact. All doors open. Strategic doors open. Relational doors open. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Be seated for one minute. Be seated for one minute. My God, fire is burning in this place. Be seated in this place. This testimony of open doors, you will see how many people will come and stand here. Hallelujah. Let me tell you what happens when a door opens. There is no restraint again. An open door means access to the next level. All the rooms in a house are separated by doors. Just because you are in a house does not mean you will enjoy every provision in that house. You can be in the living room, but the door that leads to the kitchen is closed. And if it does not open when you are hungry, you will be in the house and be dying of hunger. The door to the restroom can be closed when you are pressed and you need to ease yourself. And that door is not open, it brings discomfort. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to bring all those that the power of God will rest on them now. Whilst you are seated. Whilst you are seated. Whilst you are seated. I want to make a declaration. This is not just for individuals. All these people are representing families. I'm seeing in the spirit. Families tied down by chains. Doors that have closed over them. This is what God is revealing to me. I want you to bring them out. Every family here, not just, you are individuals, but you are representing families. No one has been able to go forward. There is an embargo that has sat upon families. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call upon El Shaddai. I call upon the warrior. Once you are seated, anyone here under territorial closed doors that have tied you down, Tied your family down right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it descend upon that family now. Let it descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Bring them out. Descend upon that family now. In the name of Jesus. Descend upon that family now. My God, in the name of Jesus, he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder, tied by witchcraft, tied by ancestry, tied by bloodline, in the name that is above all names. I say it again, be delivered now, be delivered now, be delivered now, you and your family, be delivered now. Open up the gate. Open up the doors. Will you open up the gate? Open up the doors. Shabala gabara kusia gabara. Open up the gate. The Lord is ministering to me that there are a number of you here an anointing is coming on you is a barrier breaking anointing something that has never been done in your family you have seen it in your visions you are the one ordained to do it I don't know how many of those people are there but let that anointing rest on you now bring them out the anointing of a savior the anointing of a breaker 
the anointing of a warrior in the name of Jesus dimensions in the spirit that have never been crossed in your family may you cross it now levels of wealth that have never been attained by your family step into it now step into it now step into it now hallelujah listen when angel gabriel came to zechariah and said you will have a son zechariah wanted to prophesy something else and he shut his lips and then when they were about to call him john they said no you can't call him john nobody from this lineage has ever carried that name john nobody from this lineage has ever been called prosperous nobody from this lineage has ever been called anointed nobody from this lineage has ever been called a genuine christian nobody from this lineage has ever crossed primary school secondary school nobody from this lineage has even gone outside nigeria i stand by the anointing by the god who sent me anyone here who has been tied down pegged down that you and your family cannot go forward i prophesy to you go forward now 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 alenda kaparo sateke balako sabash rabada kaparako siata go forward go forward in ministry go forward in ministry anointed but under closed heavens go forward I release you go forward go forward in career 10 years without promotion 15 years without promotion go forward now hallelujah listen listen I'm hearing in my spirit Jubilee let me tell you what Jubilee is Jubilee is an exodus after many years of captivity please listen listen we're praying we're praying there is the spirit of Laban is the spirit that never allows men to go it will encourage you with something to keep you small but it will never allow you go and have your own space it's a spirit that fights increase when Laban saw Rachel he liked her and he wanted to marry her but Jacob knew that if he marries her he will go away and he trapped her down he trapped him down and the man kept serving when it was time to carry his wife they exchanged the wife for Leah and the man stayed again many years the spirit of Laban you won't suffer but you won't rise that is the spirit of Laban you won't beg but you can't give because you are barely enough I pray for you any house you have found yourself physically and in the spirit that is tying you down not allowing you to rise to live destiny tonight i declare jubilee i declare jubilee i declare jubilee i declare jubilee be released to go forward be released to make progress be released to make progress in the name of jesus christ oh rest on me oh rest on me oh the holy ghost power Return back rejoicing. Return back rejoicing. Return back rejoicing. Return back rejoicing. Hallelujah. Return back rejoicing. I struggle to share this vision, but my conscience will not allow me if I don't share it. We need to pray yesterday while i was praying 
I saw a vision and I saw that the devil wants to bring back something in this nation that once happened the era of bomb blast I saw this in my vision and the Lord it, it came as if it was something physical that I was there and the Lord said I should pray this is not to scare you again prophecy does not bring fear are we together now yes the dominion power of the word is greater than anything we see and the purpose of revelation is to bring salvation and redemption but I saw this that there is a plot again to revive this thing about bomb blasts again the church has the authority to stop this devil's thing are we together the nations are cross and the nation is already going through too much every bloodthirsty spirit hear what I'm saying it was here I stood last year and I preached I shall not want I told you that I had a vision and in that vision that I saw that there was going to be a lot of economic hardship and even as a ministry we said we would take responsibility and thankfully we we're able to partner with CSS farm to be able to do something small I'm not somebody who comes on air and wastes my time I respect God but I also respect myself are we together the teaching ministry is enough for me the miracle ministry is enough for me but if I come out here to tell you God said then it's not only because I saw it's because it's impressed it upon my spirit are we together you have invested your trust and your loyalty I will not come and play games not at this point of my life in ministry why is God revealing this so that we'll pray I'm going to pray for the sick but we are going to pray pray so that it will not be where you are there remember how Mordecai warned Esther he said don't you think the plot of Haman is just for all of us God has brought you for such a time as this number one we are going to pray this nation is God's nation for the sake of the elect God will preserve his name number two we are going to pray anybody working with elemental forces to resurrect something we have casted out of this nation we are going to ask the earth to open and swallow them you don't like that prayer but keep quiet while I do the praying in the name of Jesus are we together and then number three we are going to pray for the armed forces defense police civil defense for wisdom courage and grace you may not know how these people labor until you have a husband or a brother or a child that while they are sending them to go and fight you don't even know whether they will return back are we together can we lend our voices to pray in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray blood testy spirits over the soul of nigeria blood testy spirits over the soul of this nation to resurrect mayhem to resurrect evil to resurrect death in the name of Jesus Christ, whether as sacrifices or demonic orchestrations, we call upon God who is a jealous warrior. Arise for your namesake. God reveals to redeem. Arise for your namesake in the name of Jesus. Arise for your namesake by the power that raised Christ from the dead. We are that evil. We are that evil. We are that evil. We are that evil. evil in the north in the south the east the west of nigeria we have had evil in abuja here the f city our going out and coming in is blessed in the name of jesus we pray for the law enforcement agencies grace integrity of service in the name of jesus that perpetrators of mayhem will be apprehended and brought to justice we empower them by prophecy we empower them with wisdom we empower them with grace in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah use this opportunity to declare the covering of the blood over yourself and your loved ones mention them my name my child will not die my mother will not die if they leave my house in the morning they will return in the night if they leave my house in the morning they return in the night if I take a flight, it will not crash. If I go by road, there is no accident. In the name of Jesus, 
bloodthirsty spirits walking through evil men, walking through wicked men. It will not come near my dwelling, not the arrows that fly by day, not the moistened pestilences, not the destructions that waste in noonday. In Jesus name in Jesus name your business can only thrive when there is peace your business can only thrive when there is peace are we together you can only go to school when there is peace Satan wants to fight the soul of this nation but the devil is defeated in the name of Jesus Christ there are still witnesses and envoys preservers of God's purposes in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God hallelujah the gift is only given to them that ask God cannot assume you desire it please lift your voice in one minute and cry to the God of heaven Outside, pray. Those following online, pray. Lord, visit me. Lord, visit me. Appear to me by your word as it were in Shiloh. Pray over your ministry. Pray over your business. Pray over your career. Pray over your destiny. Lord, I came that the gates be open tonight. Pray. Pray. That devil must leave my destiny today. That wilderness must be turned to a fruitful vine. That wilderness must be turned to a fruitful vine. Pray, pray, don't look around. That wilderness must be turned to a fruitful vine. Place something upon my life, oh God. Place something upon my destiny, upon my business. Upon my church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more prayer point. And the Lord will set this place on fire. Genesis chapter 21. Genesis chapter 21. Genesis chapter 21. Read with me please if you are a believer. One, two, read. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. Lord, do to me as you have spoken. You said many things about my life. Do it. I've heard you, but I need to see it. I've heard you, but I need to see it. Do to me as you have spoken. You said I am the head and not the tail. Do to me. You said with favor shall you encompass me as a shield. Do to me. You said you will restore the years the canker worm has eaten. Do to me, O oh God. Pray, do to me 
oh God, this is my family. You said you will wipe away every tear. You call 2019 my year of extraordinary fruitfulness. Do to me as you have spoken. Do to me, O oh God. You said I will have my child in 2019. Do to me as you have spoken. Look up. Please look up. I want you to receive every grace that the Lord is going to be releasing in this place. Because you see, let me tell you, every grace supplied to you is the strength to survive the swallow of any season. And if you do not obtain the requisite level of grace for any season, you will find out that your life will remain barren and unfruitful. Truly, I came, I came with all my heart tonight. I, I don't want it to be a miracle service that we just play around casually. Please believe for something to come upon your life. Believe for a grace to come on your life. See, this thing about anointing, if it's not there, it's not there. Period. Very simple. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray. I will stand tonight praying on the grace for speed. Hold on, hold on. Please listen. There is a reason why I continue to say this. Many destinies are too slow to glorify God. Are we together now? When the devil cannot keep you at a standstill, then your progress will be so slow. It is that I must walk the works of him while it is day. That means I need to gain time. He says, for the night cometh when no man will walk again. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, there is a real grace for speed. If you have not seen it, it is because it's not on your life. There is a real grace for speed. 
that vetoes the sentiments of men. So I want to pray. I want to start from there. And then we just allow the Lord to take us. Be conscious of what comes upon you. Be conscious of what comes upon you. That's how God answers prayers. He answers prayers by putting something on your life that will compel creation to begin to act in a way and a manner that will change your life. Are we together? Please lift your hands and let me pray. I believe in the grace for speed. I have seen a measure of that grace. And I know it is true. That God can shift a man. I'm going to pray and release this grace. And inside and outside. That anointing. And the anointing works. Let me just tell you. The anointing works. You will see people begin to run. It's, it's not anything superstitious. It is just the character and the operation of that anointing. We need it. The Lord put it in my heart. We need it for our businesses, ministries, and so on and so forth. 